Hello and welcome back to another episode of uh, War Tales. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our journey of War Tales with our three mole rats and our band of mischiefs uh, that are who are trying to make a living in Tiltran. We've almost gotten all of the quests so today we're going to do the Bandit Slayer and I really, really, really want to get revenge on the rats because they originally effed us hard and I am not taking that lightly. So there is another bandit's lair and we're going to start today's episode with a big bang. We got enough influence to get that 30% extra swift XP. Lair is placed teeming with enemies. The more active skulls there are, the more dangerous the lair is. To reduce the number of enemies in a lair, Look for groups with a skull in the region. Or go and fight eight enemies. Well, that seems like a fair fight to me. We got rats and we got a well-oiled machine. A good team that could take them on. Okay, first things first, I think... We want to fight from one side to the other. Miss Grell is back here. That's not exactly how it should work. And Jim is here as well. Okay, a couple of uh, things that I learned about the game so far is never split your forces too much. Grell can tank in this direction. Jim can support her. Namri can move in. These guys here are going first. So. I would encourage everyone to take a little bit less damage. I think that is reasonable. We're moving up. Protection and... A very, very solid 17 points of damage. We're taking some poison damage in return. All right. So, Poucher here. Dilly could move all the way up to here and start laying down the hate, which he can do quite well. One hit. And almost a kill. Enders gets us four extra Valor points before charging in, killing one. Torch striking his friend. And then charging back out. And poisoning everyone. Enders is just a machine. Absolutely like the character.
Good. So we're moving up to here, even a bit further. Spurring everybody up. <laughs> the damage is massive, I like it. And this year it gives us even an extra Valor point. Great. Wow. Straight up a kill. And another one. Gets Fury. And we're ending the turn. Good, we're moving up. That at least gives us plus one. Not great as a chance to hit. So instead we're just ending. Now it's time for the mole rats. Um... I tell you what, that's a hit, 22, wow. That's another one, and we're getting protection. Oh, look at you, reinforcements. Um, okay, looting experience. Well, that changes the situation a bit. These guys are going to go very soon and I don't want that. That indeed means we're hitting him, shooting them back before moving over to here and then ending the turn. Jim begins to support a lot of the a lot of our allies. I get it. Um, That's a straight up kill and moving to here so we can be healed. Burning can be healed. Oh, burning unfortunately also moves over to others as I just learned. It's his own uh, friend. <laughs> well, this solves uh, the problem. Move up and get some extra Valor. End of turn. Again, hits his own friend.
Good. One down. More enemies on this side. Uh, we could move up. Do a little bit of a protection here. And we got Lively as a trait. That seems a good one. Hitting our mole rats. All right, couple of things. Um, four starters. This guy here needs to die. We're getting an extra valor. Can we hit four? No, three only, but that's okay. Moves up to here. Hits both of them with uh, flaming damage. And we're dashing back. The more reds are at angry. If they are taking over that side, I'd be okay with that. All right, uh, what are we going to do? Engaging in combat, of course. Ouch. Fantastic hit. Lovely. They are now engaged in combat. First enemy is over here, which means this poacher will go first. What's the best course of action? I believe if we could end our turn besides one of our allies. That's a kill. This here gives us a valor point. Very good. More red still stay strong. Jim took some damage, but that's okay. First shot. Second one is a massive, massive crit. I like that. We're standing close. Oh, we've handed over burning. Well, congratulations, Sykin. You just played yourself. Jim needs help.
One, two. Um. Can we engage in melee combat? I think the answer is no. <clears throat> Wow, Mora takes some damage. This flank is under a lot of pressure. All right, Polly just stands there for now. <clears throat> Reduction in damage that everybody is taking. Let's stay in melee combat, and that's about it. That's a solid hit, and this here will give us an additional Veiler. Alright, that's one down. That was a fantastic strike, and we are moving up. Okay, the mole rats are courageous, I'll give them that. This wrongdoer needs to die, and he needs to die fast. Good, he's now engaged in melee combat, which is fine. Uh, we need to execute some of them. Uh, Jim here could be helpful. It's the guy from behind. We're burning. These guys are burning, so that's not a great place to be. Which means he's putting himself behind a red. Counts as an ally, I think, just to get that extra Valor point. There we go, that's what I was looking for. So he's down to seven, not good.
moves up and turn here and next turn we got fury move over to here get that extra veiler Move up. Whew. Close, close combat. A lot of healing supplies and a lot of repairs needed. And we only got 71 experience. Well, we at least got a medium armor with a lot of, with a lot of armor. So let's compare. Armor is a little bit better than what we had. Jimna also gets medium armor. The last fight really showed that he was lacking that like extra 10, uh, 10 hit point defense. And Zoe definitely needs to level up, hopefully soon. She's almost there. Good, so... We got the reward. Got a nice little belt accessory. Willpower plus one. Who does have like 14-ish willpower? No one, but Anders unfortunately does have really poor willpower overall. He had the depressed trait. So plus one willpower it is. Uh, we got critical hit increased uh, by 10%. Watch keeping stool. Reduce the chance of being attacked during the rest and reduce the chance that prisoners will escape. Okay, cool. Well, I just found this one here is much better because it increases crit chance by 10% during attacks from behind. Guess what? That is fantastic. Grell takes uh, the other accessory. Let's do some wood cutting. Very good. Apprentice woodcutter. What does apprentice woodcutter do? Uh, plus two percent critical hit. That's not bad. I like how the passive uh, stuff, you, how you get motivated uh, to do all of the passive stuff. Animal accessory. Dexterity plus eight. Okay, wait, now we're talking. That is absurd. Deals 10 damage to all units in the area and then creates a fire. Okay, <laughs> this looks just like, this sounds like a fantastic bow. So it takes uh, that and our animals here. Damage increased by 10% next to an ally in combat. Yep, sounds like a plan. I think I sold the other, the other one. Movement plus one, I think we're giving that to our other ranger. I'm always saying ranger, but I really mean archer. 
Good, good. And trade goods. They are worth a lot. That was a hundred right there. Movement speed in snow increased by 20%. If the troop uh, is wanted, movement speed is increased even further. Well, we got some really nice food there. I would say overall that was super successful, but also a pretty tough fight. So we have a decent understanding now what medium difficulty means. It actually means you better get your together unless you want to get your teeth kicked in. So hard consequently would mean it's getting even more difficult. We got an alpha wolf. Let's fight them. And maybe we can even capture wolves, which would be cool. I like our rats. But I also would fancy myself getting one of those alpha wolves. Jim moves here. And Namri moves on to the other side. Okay, cool. Yeah, well. Uh, let's move to here. Hit two of the wolves. Hit them further. Move a tiny bit back. Then poison them further. And whilst we're at it, move to here. End of turn. We are moving to here. I like the idea of protection and let's slash him. That's the alpha. If we could capture him, that would be incredibly helpful. All right. One down, two down, and we'll move into here. End of turn. Moves to here. It's that guy for 20. Holy. All right, Dilly. Can't really move because all of the other folks are standing in our way. same and we now have a freaking AOE attack how cool is that seriously This bow is absolutely busted. Do 
27. Okay, we're burning our own uh, colleague. That is okay. Yeah, but can't capture him. That's unfortunate. I really, really wanted to have the wolf. Killed one of our mole rats. Not the biggest fan. Could have prevented that. Yeah. Could have prevented the death of the rat. Oh boy, that little sucker. All right, Zoe finally uh, got light armor proficiency. I like the recoil shot, it's super good. All ally animals next to the target, uh, next to the target attack them with an attack of opportunity. That's not bad. And this is not bad either, but I think we're going to go with recoil shot. I really like it. It's a great ability. We could go with more constitution, which I think is good as well. Well, now that she has finally armor, She is no longer as vulnerable as she was beforehand. Good. And we got recoil shot plus the normal shot. We had another trait, lively. Strength and dexterity increased by 5% when a one-hand weapon is, in, uh, is wielded. Well, that is a fantastic trait. Good job. Good, so we're moving up here. More rat, dead body. Uh, you are going to be missed. All right, wait a second. Why is what is so heavy? And even more important, why isn't Murphy using all of their carrying capacity? There we go. Wait, we do have more reds. Why aren't we giving you? Fantastic. Good. So point being, I think I screwed up on not having enough rope. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just craft that. Because rope allows you. No, I had rope, but we couldn't capture. Okay, I see. So wolves apparently are not capturable by, by us yet.
good. I think it's time to rest again. More reds are sleeping near the tent. Uh, we could create a watch keeping stool. Reduce the chance of being attacked during the rest. Reduce the chance of prisoners escaping. Do we need to put someone onto it? I don't mind being attacked. I actually don't mind. Good. What can we create? Uh, two more bread. Fair enough. There we go. Now, we do have this fantastic diet here. Let's get a little bit of that going. Must eat fruit or vegetables. I wonder why exactly we get all of those dietary restrictions. But apparently they are adding up. Maybe those small reds are not eating meat. Which is strange because they attacked us, right? A companion who can't properly um, who can't aim properly is a danger to our troop. We must consider Ender Sender's future among us. After rest, uh, Nemri will gain the exhausted status. After rest, the troop regenerates 10% less fatigue. Uh, but we get plus one aptitude points. I think we're do uh, still doing that. Enders could get more dexterity. Oh yeah, I'm not going to uh, pass on that opportunity. He is now dealing like what? 12 points of damage to all units in the area? Hell yeah. Very good. Cool. Alright, so we're going back and I think the next episode uh, would be finally fighting against the rat. But in this episode, I would love to uh, see what our options are uh, with the mayor. But before we can do that, let's see what else uh, we could do here. Location markers, that's okay. Recruitment cost, that's fine. None of that is really great. Ghost Buckler. That looks a bit more like something I would want to create. Food could be another option or Comprehensive collection identifies almost every herb. Um, has a chance. Backpack accessory has a chance to retrieve part of the resource used in alchemy. Okay, so essentially that will conserve a lot of alchemical items, which in the long run will be good. So we're learning that. And we still need marsh parsley and then some leather, but that seems uh, like a super useful accessory. Good, thankfully we're super fast on the road.
Might I interest you in my humble wares, my good sirs? Well, not today, I think, but we could sell some of our stuff to you. Good. We're back to 500 gold, but is not bad at all. Fantastic. So we're rushing forward. Let's talk to the mayor and then we're going to kill the rat because believe it or not, I have a distinct hatred for that thing. Okay, so what does the mayor want uh, us to do? I commend you for your service, mercenaries. The locals hail you as the new Jeru. Better yet, you have come to our aid and shown us that we must fight back. The good people of Tiltran are now determined to drive away the refugee menace. Join me at the Haven. We will rid our land of this filth. What a coincidence. Well, I think that's a good uh, time for a break. We got plenty of options here. Still need to do the plague ridden husband and there is the rat infestation as well and there is another rat infestation so we're going to do some more rats in in the next episode we're definitely going to do some more rats in the next episodes for now however if you want to clean out the infestation try to put a rat trap around that like button and see if you can trap it See you in the next episode and have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.